Hey guys, so what I found was really interesting in this play was that at the end, Puck apologizes to the audience and explains that it was just a dream. This is really interesting to me because I thought it was uh, interesting that they came directly out and explained, like, this is what happened instead of kind of letting you figure it out through context clues going forward. Two values that I saw um, throughout the play were love and anger. Love and love as far as like what you would do for it and uh, was kind of exposed to me at the beginning when Hermia and Lysander ran off to the woods and then Demetrius followed them and it was just kind of like uh, Hermia was disobeying her father and knew what could possibly happen or if she did it, but she did it anyway. And then the second one, anger, really popped out to me because of uh, Urius is angry with his daughter because she won't marry the person that he wants her to and he wants her dead because of that instead of being a little more understanding. So uh, anger and love, and as far as love, more so of what you would do with it were the two values. Um, so number three, the, this quote kind of confused me upon reading it. It was, take time to pause, and by the next moon, the sealing day betwixt my love and me, for everlasting bond of fellowship. The word betwixt there kind of didn't make sense. I uh, really had never heard it before. So I looked it up, and it means between, which makes sense because he's saying between my love and me. So he's kind of just giving his word for uh, what he's saying. Number four. I think that women at the beginning look extremely weak in the fact of Hermia is being told who to marry and that if she doesn't do it, she'll be killed. And it kind of like feels like the men are superior. But then throughout, you kind of see, okay, with the fairy, like the juice, both men and women are affected. So it makes them more equal in the eyes of the audience, in my mind. Um, with... Shakespeare, as we all know, was only casting men at this time in his plays, and small, small children or small boys or men would play the characters of women. And if, in fact, women were in the play, I think that it would actually draw more women to the plays, just because of the fact that um, men, I don't feel like, are can depict what a woman's thinking the best compared to a woman herself. So I think that more women would feel connected with the characters more so than the men who, or the if a man was playing that character as they were at that time. Two questions I have. So obviously the story includes a lot of imagination, but do you think realistically you could ever go through something and then have someone tell you that it was a dream and actually believe them? And then secondly, uh, do you think that the love potion that they put in their eyes depicts something that like actually exists or a trait that people have in today's world.